Official Yashihime Guidebook, Ken Narita Interview, Translation by Ayuria. The Role of Sushomaru, Narita Ken, Taking on a New, Father Sushomaru. What were your thoughts upon hearing about the Hanyo no Yashihime Project? When I suddenly heard from the people of Sunrise that they were going to start a new work that inherited the world of Inuyasha, I was shocked to say the least. At the same time, I was curious as to what would happen to Seshomaru and the other characters as well as the cast. Please tell us what your impression was when you first read the script. When I heard that Seshomaru's children would be the protagonists this time from reading the script, I had a strong feeling of why. Perhaps having children didn't connect well with Seshomaru inside me from the time of Inuyasha. However, that in itself is a fun new development, so I thought I would take on the challenge. <laughs> How did it feel to play Seshomaru for the first time in a while? Seshomaru's position in Hanyo no Yashihime is that of a father, so it felt like I was acting a Seshomaru that came to a separate world that was different from the world of Inuyasha. However, while remembering Seshomaru up to this point, I thought about all sorts of things while putting in the effort such as, as if he's a parent. He would interact with his daughters like this, or even if there is love, he also possesses cruelty and cold-heartedness, so perhaps he's experimenting with his daughters in order to learn what he wants. Please tell us what you are focused on with your acting. A lot of times, I don't do well if I try to calculate my performance, so I purposely don't look at documents containing future developments. I exhibit my strength when I'm driven to the edge of a cliff. <laughs> I was also conscious of making sure my voice didn't change, although I don't try to copy my voice exactly from 10 years ago. What is most important to me is facing the character. Please tell us a story from the recording site. I was happy to have been able to talk to Chosan, the role of Jokin, again after 10 years. His voice hadn't changed at all, still the same as always. <laughs> Seeing a healthy Kyodo-san, Hisako, the role of Kaede gave me power like I also have to persevere more. What sort of impressions do you have of Toa, Setsuna, and Moroha, the protagonists of this work? Toa and Setsuna don't resemble Rin that much, so they probably inherited Seshomaru's blood strongly. Perhaps the one whose personality is close to Seshomaru's is the cool Setsuna. Moroha is clumsy and adorable. <laughs> I think her recklessness is similar to Inuyasha. How do you perceive Sashomaru and Rin's relationship? If Sashomaru were to marry someone, I think it would be Rin. However, is it a love between a man and a woman? I don't think Sashomaru looked at Rin with that kind of objective. It felt like he was simply a guardian sort of figure. Perhaps he wanted to know what would happen if he had acted like a human and wanted to try it out on Rin. Having kids is the result of sexual intercourse between living creatures kind of thing. If deciding just on like or dislike, I think he likes it. But I'd like to perceive this as not just something as black and white, but in the middle. I want to aim for that sweet spot, like when adjusting the temperature of a bathtub. <laughs> Please tell us the scene from the first chapter that left an impression on you. The scene where Seshomaru hands Tenseiga to Toa. He says Toa's name for the first time with, Shall you give it a try, Toa? I wanted to bring out something in between passion and coolness, calmness. So even when I got the okay, I recorded it multiple times. Please give a message to everyone who is looking forward to the upcoming broadcast. There may or may not be a scene in the second chapter where you will get a glance of Seshomaru's parental love towards Toa and Setsuna. Please look forward to the second chapter, including that. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media to get the latest announcements and news about Inuyasha and Yashahime. We will definitely be following up on any translations, interviews, episode summaries, and cast lists as the episodes release. Stay tuned!